Hello, this is Rubber Band. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be attempting to pick this five lever bulldog padlock from the UK. This was traded to me by Lock Noob. And um, I'm gonna see if I can't get this sucker open. So I'm not great at lever lock picking. Um, as I, I feel like a lot of USA based pickers aren't super skilled with these things just because the slot mechanism is not very prevalent here. So, okay. Um, since the shading from my hand might reduce some lighting. So here's what I've got. So you can see the logo. This is by GJ locks in the UK. It seems like the UK has all the great tool makers. But uh, I'm going to be using this setup here. So uh, lever locks can deal with a lot of tension. And that's typically what you need. So I'm going to try to let some light perforate so you might be able to see. So focus on the handle because you'll see drift as uh, this forces the stump out of the way. If, you know, if I can pick it. So here we go. Um, I'm going to start on the very back lever, which is where I tend to go. Okay, so we've got a little drift. Okay. Don't have much friction there. I'm just trying to see which ones kind of bind up on me the hardest. So, not feeling a whole lot yet. Okay, that felt like something. I'm cranking up the tension a little bit. Oop, I think that one's gonna move a little bit. I'm using my finger up here as kind of a break because I, I wanna be able to kinda use some friction to control how far the wire moves. So, I'm also picking around the camera, which isn't my strong point. I don't know how people like Brummy Lockpicker and the like do this, or Andy Mack for another matter. Seems like he can pick whatever angle he wants because he's an absolute madman, so. Um, I'm not feeling a whole lot. Oh, I felt something there. Okay. Okay, see if I can't start from the back again. Oh. Huh. Okay. I picked this just a bit ago, so it might have just been beginner's luck. Wouldn't be the first time that got a lock open for me, so. I've got my finger resting here because I'm trying to get some auxiliary feedback. Just really wondering what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna back the tension off just a little bit. Ooh. So if you get the wire in between the the levers, they can try to bind on you. And that's kind of the biggest danger is that, for me, is that there's a risk of trapping your tool. See, right here, I'm kind of stuck. Gotta, okay, I'm gonna start over. Okay. Everything's loose. Okay, I'm gonna bind the stump, the bolt stump again. Make sure this is all the way to the back. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, so. I've got pretty predictable turning, so watch. I'm gonna lift the back lever. Watch, you see that drift? That's good. That's what I'm trying to do with the rest of these. Let's get that going. Maybe 
Maybe I should have mapped this more. Maybe. Okay. I feel like right here, we got a problem lever. Okay. Just trying to get a little more control here. You know, there's an old adage. There was something that was easy. Everyone would do it. I think that's really frustrating. Because I think some people only do some stuff because it's hard. Like, have you ever tried dating? I don't know, man. You ever have like a fever dream and then you just really wish the fever dream was real and like reality is like pretty, it's a pretty dull place in comparison to what we can imagine it can be. Like if life is a simulation, can't it be a better one? You know, just... Walking through the levers. Uh, so some of you will probably ask about this tool. GJ Locks in the UK. As far as I remember, he prefers to sell only to trading locksmiths. I am a locksmith. Uh... And I'm not, I'm not based in the UK or anything, but I do have all the credentials to own a tool like this. Um. Oh, I felt a little drift on that. Oh, where are we going? Are we going somewhere? We're gonna, what's that, uh, that singer sing that home song? Daughtry, yeah. I'm going home. Okay, that was a noticeable drift to me anyway. You might not have seen it. Blink and you might miss it. I think we're almost there, folks. After much ado and hullabaloo. Okay. Cool thing about lever locks is they tend to kind of explode open. Okay. Now, I think I made a uh, fatal flaw in this particular video where I didn't show this being locked. So, um, that's not my favorite. It, uh, it does work, though. I have the key somewhere. Okay. I wonder if we can run through it. Let's try and run through it for a second time. Um, I am a proponent of legitimacy. I don't have any particular reason to fake a pick, particularly one that folks who are experienced at lever picking can probably do in their sleep. I imagine Nigel Tolly or other folks that uh, deal with lever locks more often would be able to run right through this thing. Or even, uh, I'm going to try to say his name. I'm probably going to mispronounce it. It's a Welsh name. Geraint, Geraint, who makes these tools. He, an absolute wizard at uh, picking lever locks. Um, even very difficult ones. But I guess you don't make tools like this and then not be good at what you're doing, you know? Yeah. 
Um, you know, in the UK, they make sausage out of congealed blood and apparently like spices and other stuff. And, uh, I wonder, I wonder if like, uh, there's just a lot of vampires over there and they've really found a way to like conceal what they're doing. Also, like, why do the vampires have to have like fresh blood from like a living victim or something? You know, cause there's blood in things like steak and hamburgers, you know, it's, it's a key component to muscle tissue. And I don't know, I don't think it's really cool of the creatures of the night to have to like, for one, get like consent to come in your domicile, but then they can assault you. That's a really weird thing. Like, buddy, you can't have my blood. I mean, anything but that. Like, I need that to live. But I mean, like, it's, living's overrated. That's why they become undead, right? Oh, I got a, got a little bit of drift again. Speaking of drift, man, there sure are some strange... Oh, okay, we got another open. All right, so I got it open a lot faster that time. And I showed you locking it up again. So there, we got an open again. Ooh. That's good. Ooh, very nice. Zooming it on out. I got more in backup over here. Okay, so that's been a, a lever padlock picked open. Five wafer bulldog from the UK. Uh, thank you, Lock Noob and Geraint of GJ Tools. And um, until next time, I've been Rubber Band.